So in today's video, I actually want to talk about um, some books that I have been loving by current authors. I tend to, um, you know, gravitate towards and talk about, um, you know, some older authors, um, you know, like a Tony or a Maya or, or uh, you know, Alice. Um, but I have discovered some really good um, authors that have just been killing the game when it comes to you know writing these novels and I want to share a couple with you that I have just been loving so let's just get started so the first book is um called Behold the Dreamers by Mbola Mboe um Mbola is from uh Cameroon I believe and her writing is she's really visual and she just grips you you know and just holds on you know to she really just holds on to you and every word that she writes it's it's so good she's like i said she's so visual visual this book um you know it talks about immigration it talks about you know um just doing everything possible to stay in america because um you know people see out of people see America as this promised land and, you know, everything that you can just, you can do everything, you know, in America, especially people that are obviously not from, um, you know, the States. And, and this couple, um, June, is it June Day and uh, Nettie, I think, yeah, uh, Nini. And they, like I said, they're from Cameroon and they are living in New York, but they are like struggling. And he um, is, in the beginning of the book, he is um, interviewing for, uh, to be a chauffeur um, for a man that works um, with what, the Lehman Brothers. And he, you know, he gets a job and he just sees this, a different world, you know, um, from a perspective of a, uh, you know, a white man that has, you know, money and wealth and he's married and he has children um and you basically just see how you know he's just living his life how june day's living his life how you know his boss is living his life same thing with um the boss's wife cindy and Nini. um you know just to see the uh the pros and cons and you know see how a family that is basically destitute is living and a family that is you know thriving has money is living such a great 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 book such a great writer and you guys know if i like a writer and if they come out with a second book i will get it and last year she came out with a second book name um how beautiful we were i'm currently reading this um and i'm literally i've only on like 10 page 10 so <laughs> uh yeah but i know it's it's talking about a fictional african town um and it's dealing with um toxic what is it like infertile land that has like i think toxic water or something like that and it's killing the people in the you know the village so so far i'm really enjoying it like i said i'm like really in the beginning on page 10 but her writing is just it's impeccable next is way to more she will be king um this book came out i believe in 2017 um i actually saw this book on i think sarah jessica parker um i think instagram or something and the cover got me and then when i saw the name i'm like oh it has to be african especially that first name <laughs> such a pretty name way to um and way to is again she's just like in bola she knows how to tell a story she grips you this book um it's like magical realism and it deals with three characters um the first character uh what's her name bessa she's in, she's immortal so like a snake bites her and she can't die um the next character's name is norman um arrogant norman is um he like vanishes um, so he like, yeah, he just goes away. And then the last character, June Day, um, his skin, like he can't um, basically like feel anything, meaning like if someone whips him, he can't feel that or like a bullet, he can't feel it just like, you know, um, just like knocks off his body. And you just see these three characters um, 
and oh my goodness she, the way she tells the story is so good and usually i'm not into magical realism because you know i'm like i don't want to see nobody flying or anything like that but it's 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 in the word magical realism it's some realistic you know attributes because all those these you know these three characters have these special kind of you know powers they still are human basically um such such a great book in the same way like Embola. if i like a book i will get another one and i did um 2020 she came up with a memoir called the dragons the giants the women and this was really 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 good i actually read it last year and enjoyed it thoroughly um this actually didn't read as a nonfiction. um you know she's from oh and way too more is from liberia um and this book is talking about how her family um had to flee um from liberia during the war and the way that her father describes you know um uh, you know the war and everything um because way too more was like a little girl um basically and Oh my goodness, this was such a good read. It didn't read like a nonfiction book. It didn't read like a memoir. Um, and it's only, it's not even 300 pages. This book is like 250 pages. So that's another beauty of a good writer. You can tell a story in shorter pages and she is one of them. So kudos to Wea too. Next is Luster by Raven Leilani. Now this book, um, I, you know what? I, I did like it um it was real quirky and weird the main protagonist um because some stuff that that girl did it was like seriously she's having a relationship with a married man the woman the wife knows but the wife gets jealous it's like oh it's 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 some teen some drama that's one reason why i like that but um it it was oddly oddly good um she's raven's another author that you know she she knows how to tell a story and this book i want to know exactly what was going to happen how it was going to end um and yeah it, it was a good book it was um a short book like 200 and something pages um now with this if i'm gonna be honest I, although i did like it i don't know if i would just hurry up and go out if she gets a you know um when she writes her sophomore book if i would just go out to the bookstore and get it um because like i said it was good but it's not anything like oh my goodness um you have to you have to be oh my goodness for me to get you know a you know your second book um and it really wasn't but it still was a good it was still was a good book next is i'm just loving these african novels um <laughs> is um ab um ab dare the girl with the louding voice <sighs> this is so good um oh my goodness so first of all the cover is so pretty secondly this talks about house girls um which it would be uh you know for like americans like a servant basically a housekeeper um you like a maid uh but you know this house girl she is like really 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 smart um her mom has passed and she has um she's living with you know her father i think like two brothers or something like that um but in order like they're you know they're poor and so what her dad does is he basically like sells her um you know marries her off and she's you know with this horrible man and she's like 15 i want to say um 14 um and oh my goodness so she she leaves that situation it's not a spoiler um and then she ends up working um as a house um girl for a horrible person i mean the stuff that this lady does makes her do is just ridiculous um but you have another um character that sh just she shows compassion to um oh how do you say this girl's name a, a Dooney, i think um she shows shows compassion to her um and you just see how she's basically it just how she's going to <laughs> oh what how she is in this world how she is in this society how she's going to get through living with this you know living and working with this horrible individual and 
oh my goodness you see i can't even explain it because it's just like i don't want to give it away and it's just she when i read this book when i read this book and when i was done with it my mouth was just open it this book is amazing she's gonna be another author that if she comes up with something i am going to go to the bookstore and get it because she she can tell a story this was a debut uh, novel and it did not read like a debut novel lastly is another debut novel well not lastly i have one more um it's called my dark vanessa by kate elizabeth russell um i read this in the beginning of the pandemic when like everything was closed we were you know on uh lockdown and i saw it at walmart and i read the back of it and i was like hmm i'm gonna get it this book it it has a different taken perspective on um victim victims of um i would say of a relationship with an older man um it has a different take on pedophilia um the main protagonist vanessa is um has a relationship with her teacher vanessa is 15 when it starts and her teacher is 42 an english teacher um and it goes on to she's like in her 30s um and she doesn't believe that she is a victim of like rape or you know um being you know manipulated because she's like well i was willing to do some things um you know i didn't say no um uh, i have never read a book like that when it comes to you know sexual uh abuse and um like i said pedophilia she really got in the mind of a um a victim basically and how they see things and this book was really really good um yeah I, it was hard to read and kind of disturbing because you're thinking i mean this is a 15 year old child and a 42 year old man that should know better <laughs> and it's some you know sexual um you know things that go on it's like come on dude like seriously but overall it still was a really good book um i yeah i would recommend this and the last one which is another african <laughs> author is his only wife by peace is it aduze mindy now first of all this cover oh my goodness and second of all this story is amazing i probably will be, will be reading this again um oh what can i say about this book so um it's in uh set in ghana you have a girl that is um basically is an arranged marriage she's supposed to get married but her um groom does not show the day that they're getting married and then maybe a couple weeks later he shows and you see how what's the character's name Effie. that's the girl and um you see how she is basically trying to be a wife um and she comes from come from kind of a poor family and her current husband he is he comes from wealth and so she has to you know learn how to navigate that and be in society and all of it and when i tell you this is so good this dialogue is amazing peace can write peace can write and anything she's coming up with i will be getting i oh my goodness i enjoyed this so much that i after i read it i uh you know i tabbed books and after i read it i went back to the passages that i liked and like reread it again <laughs> such 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 a great book this dialogue that's what gets me this dialogue in this book is so good it feels like you are talking to your best friend your mama your daddy your uncle peace can write that's all i have to say pick this up please pick this up if you have not so guys that's all i have for these new authors that i have been loving like i said they they haven't come to play they these authors know how to write um and tell a story and yeah that's all i have to say so i'll be back with more books by blacks and that's it bye